What's up guys, I'm Mr. from RaspberryTech.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to use a Raspberry Pi 2 to mine Bitcoin with our Antminer U3. This is the Bitman Antminer U3 and this is a 60 Giga Hash uh, miner, this is ASCII miner. And we, again, we're going to use our Raspberry Pi as the node and it's going to control our Antminer and we're going to mine Bitcoin. So the first thing you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi. It can be any Raspberry Pi, but I'm using the Raspberry Pi 2. Now, I know you guys are wondering, you're like, what the hell is going on? This is a uh, stackable case and I have four Raspberry Pis here. Now I set this up because I'm working on another video where I, um, where I, where I cluster these into a cluster computer and I compare them to my other Raspberry Pi B cluster and we do speed tests to compare the two. So I right, stay tuned for that video. Now, uh, where we can move forward, we have to uh, set this up. The way you set it up is connect the internet to your uh, Raspberry Pi, connect the other end to your router, uh, connect via USB, this USB cord, connect it to your Antminer U3, right? Then also, you're gonna want to connect this uh, mini or micro USB port here to the Raspberry Pi. Then make sure that the other end is connected to a powered hub, right? Or has a powered source. Then, you're going to connect the, then you're gonna connect the Antminer's power. This is the power for the Antminer, right? And it should start, start up. The fans should start up and it's powered on. You know it's powered on because the fans are spinning. All right, so now all we have to do is move on to the next step. All right guys, so now we're gonna set this thing up and actually get it to start mining. Remember, we're using our Raspberry Pi 2. You can use any Raspberry Pi for this tutorial, but in this tutorial, I'm using my Raspberry Pi 2 and uh, we are connecting it to the Antminer U3 so we can start mining Bitcoin. So we don't need a computer. We, all we need is our Raspberry Pi and uh, Antminer U3 and we're good to go with mining Bitcoins. The first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, open up PuTTY and uh, remotely access our Raspberry Pi. Now, if you don't know what PuTTY is, if, if you don't know how to install Raspberry in, um, I did a video where I show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna leave that video in the description. It's called uh, Raspberry Pi Cluster Supercomputer. It's part two. In that video, I show you how to install everything in Raspbian, how to uh, find your IP address if you have Raspberry Pi, how to install PuTTY, and how to remotely access it. You need to know those things first before you can watch this video. Now, if you know how to do all that stuff, then uh, you're good to go and you could follow along with this video. But again, I'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up PuTTY and uh, the IP address for my Raspberry Pi is 192.168.1.156. Yours could be different. If you don't know it, uh, you're gonna need to find out. You could find out by typing if config uh, in the terminal when you lo when Raspbian is loaded uh, and it should show you your uh, IP address. So now we're just going to click open here and it should start. Uh, click on yes. Now uh, it's prompting us to enter a username. The username is pi, P-I, hit enter, and the password is raspberry. So R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, hit enter. It should start loading the Raspberry Pi. Now, uh, the next step is to open up a web browser here. And we're gonna navigate to this URL here. I'm gonna leave a link to this URL in the description. But we're gonna scroll down till we get to uh, this part here. It's by AJ Weller 88 He created a awesome tutorial. And, and it's a step-by-step -step tutorial. And, we, and we're gonna get to copy the code so we don't have to type anything in. Again, it's by AJ Weller 88 created an awesome tutorial. And in this tutorial, he shows us how to uh, set up a ant miner u3 and get it working on a raspberry pi and this tutorial will work on any raspberry pi but we're using the raspberry pi 2 you can use any raspberry pi you want and it should work now uh the first thing we need to do is copy the first line of code here sudo app get update copy this right and when you get to this ter terminal here if you don't know how to paste it, all you have to do is right click your mouse and it should paste it automatically then hit enter and let it run. And now we're gonna copy the second line of code here, sudo app get upgrade, copy that and paste it here, then hit enter. And it should prompt you to continue Y for yes and for no type Y, then hit enter. Now we're going to install dependencies. To do that, copy this code here from sudo and uh, up until the screen here, copy all that and paste it here, hit enter. 
and it should prompt you uh, to continue Y for yes and for no type Y, hit enter. So now we're going to download uh, CG Miner. That's the mining software that'll uh, mine all the Bitcoin for us. Uh, to do that, we're going to copy this code right here, get clone and up install the miner here, this whole line of code, copy it and paste it on the terminal and hit enter. Now we're going to uh, configure the CG Miner. Uh, to do that, we're going to copy this first line of code here, CD CG Miner. That's going to change the directory into the CG Miner directory. Copy that and paste it and hit enter. Now we're going to copy this second line of code here, sudo, uh, up until the sh here. Copy this and paste it on here and then hit enter. And give it a couple minutes. Okay, when that's finished, we're going to copy this third line of code here. Export live curl up until this point here. Copy this and paste it onto here, then hit enter. When that's done, we're going to copy the fourth line of code here and paste it onto here, hit enter. All right, now we're going to copy this line of code, sudo make, copy it, paste it here, and hit enter. All right, now everything's installed. Now we can test out whether or not it'll work. Uh, All right, now we're going to actually start mining. And first thing we need to do is copy this bit of code here. Now, you need to fill in the blanks here. Your pool, you need to, uh, where it says pool here, you need to fill it in with your uh, pool address. Uh, and where it says username, you need to fill it in with your username. And where it says password here, you need to fill this in with your password, right? Um, I opened up my text document here. I pasted that onto a text document. You should uh, paste it onto a text document and save it onto your desktop so that you could just copy it and paste it onto a terminal at any time whenever you want to run your uh, mine. But uh, I replaced uh, my pool here with my username. I'm sorry, with my uh, URL. This is my pool URL. I'm using Slush's pool. I replaced my user with my username. My username is versim.worker1 and, and my password here is anything. If you don't know how to download a wallet, how to join a pool and how to create workers, I'm going to leave the link to the video where I show you guys all that stuff. Now, uh, once that's done, just copy it this from your text file. Remember, the first thing you do is copy this here, this bit of code here and copy it and paste it in a text editor, no, notepad or whatever you want to do. Then uh, paste or replace the pool with your pool address, the username with your uh, worker name, and the, the password with your password. And then save it uh, onto the desktop so you can just easily copy it and paste it when you need to. So now I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to paste it. Remember, it's going to be filled in with your info, your your pool address, your worker username, and your work and your worker password. So now all we have to do, and uh, when you paste this, it has to be in the CG Miner uh, directory. Cd to the root directory. Hit enter. Now I'm in the root directory. If I paste this here and I hit enter, it shouldn't work. See, it didn't work. So before you can paste this, you have to cd hit space uh, type forward slash home, forward slash pi, forward slash c, g, m, i, n, e, r. You have to be in the cg miner directory uh, before you can paste this code. Once you paste this code here, it's going to start mining. So once you hit enter, it's going to start mining for you. It should uh, read your ant miner u3. And uh, remember, you have to be connected to the internet. Your ant miner u3 has to be connected to your Raspberry Pi. Uh, and if everything was done successfully, you should see your ant miner here. This is the actual ant miner, and it should start working. And it's working right now. And uh, it's going to give you the giga hash or mega hash rate that the miner is running. Up here is uh, how many uh, giga hash or mega hash you're running per second. Up here, and uh, if you see accepted like it did here, that means it's actually mining. Like you're actually making uh, bitcoins now, or actually uh, mining bitcoins now. And that's pretty much it. So again, uh, to exit, all you have to do is type in uh, Q. Hit Q and it should uh, qu shut down and it should go back to the terminal. Remember, it's good to uh, have this saved on, in a text document. So all you have to do is just copy uh, the code and just paste it and it should start mining. Again, you have to be in the CG miner directory. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to CD back into the root directory so I'll show you again. So remember, you have to, to CD hit space forward slash home 
forward slash pi forward slash C G M I N E R. Hit enter to get back into the C G minor uh, directory or folder. Then you could open up your text document and copy the code that'll uh, automatically start CG Miner and start mining for you, then hit enter and it should start working. Um, it's easier just to save it in a text document. So that's pretty much it for this part. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinMareTech.com and thanks for watching.